Welcome to Americana. This could be about trivia, fun quizzes, pictures, stuff, things about the United States of America. And today we're doing our fifth uh, version of Remember When. It's an opportunity to think back uh, to a bygone era, things that we used, had, collected, did, or maybe it was our parents or our grandparents. So let's get started with the old standby lunch bag. It's long before the lunch boxes, the metal ones were around. And even when they showed up, a lot of kids would just put their lunch in a bag and take it to school, as would dads go to work. Do you remember the bronze shoes? Uh, many parents sent their child's, their baby's first shoes off through the mail and they would come back bronzed. And the Smith Brothers cough drops. It's about all that you had. Ten cents. When you went to school, the uh, the alphabet uh, cards, the handwriting cards around the, the top, above the blackboard, and it usually spanned beyond that. And uh, not just cursive writing, but the print. And how often did we reference them to see how we really should write. What I noticed up in the very top right, the Q, I forgot that that's really how you're supposed to write that. Bank book. How about frosted glasses? Remember getting them at uh, the gas stations? A flash camera. You take the picture, the bulb would flash, you'd throw it, but take it out, throw it away, you put a new one in for your next picture. And my grandma had one of these uh, washing machine tubs. And it did work. Do you remember going off to school and everybody took out their glue for art class? A little slit at the top would allow the glue to ooze out. And the harder you push down, the more would come out. But we would line along the edges of uh, what we wanted to glue and then flip it over and push it down. Mimeograph machine. And here's rubber pants. To put them on babies uh, over their diapers to stop leakage. And to take my word for it, they helped, but they didn't solve the problem. One of uh, America's most beloved daytime shows was Art Link Letters, Kids Say the Darndest Things. Dippity doo, setting gel for ladies' hair. The saddle shoes, what did you do to keep them clean? A transistor radio, the dial in the front, look at the upper right, the volume, and the on off switch. That was the boom box of the day. And uh, once again, you have going back uh, another generation for me. Our families would sit around the radio at night and listen. Pixie, pick up sticks. And how about hair curlers and uh, bobby pins? And to help with that, Tony. So uh, mom had those in the shopping cart often. This is butcher's paper, like at the meat shop, but then it, you also could use it for wrap. Did you play jacks? I think everybody did. Growing up, both boys and girls, the girls played it more, but the boys learned to play it too. A little hard doing it on the concrete sidewalk, sweeping your hand across it, but we did it. And caps, 
uh, not only did we put them in our guns and could shoot, and they would, they were sequenced to hit the cap and sounded like a shot. But what was a lot of fun, it was just blowing a whole roll at one time, just turn it up on its side, take a hammer and hit it. And boy, did that make a lot of noise. Do you remember these? If you had hole punches in, in, your, in your notebook paper, and they sort of pulled out of your notebook, you got these and put it, licked them and stuck it over the hole and it reinforced them. They worked. Remember the old wooden desks? Look at the inkwell at the ones up to the top of the screen. Evening in Paris. It still is around. And you remember the kitchen dinette set. Table for four, it does pull out. You could put an insert in. Look at the color. That was the 50s era. Card catalog at the library. And look at the movie theater and or your, your school auditorium when you went in for assembly. Wooden chairs with the pull-down seats. Conga line. And to go along with that, the sock hop. Yep, you really took your shoes off. And the world-famous vacuum cleaner, the Electrolux. Here where you're on and off switches for your lights, you pushed them. The Maybelline mascara. The rotary dial telephone. The malt shop. And how about for those 45 RPM records with the big hole? If you didn't have the, that tower that you could put over uh, the top to fit these records when you put them on, you just put these in the holes of your record and uh, they'd go right over. Remember the gas station attendant had come out, fill your tank with gas, wash your windshield, check your oil. Fuses. If you overloaded your electrical circuit, that blow. Your lights would go out or whatever, and you had to go out there and unscrew the thing and put a brand new one in. Bath robes. Here come the last few or some really interesting ones. Remember the jukeboxes at the at the tables? McGuffey's spelling book. How about fun with Dick and Jane and Spot and Puff? First edition Crayola crayons. Diaper pens. Roller skates. You rented them at the roller rink. Drive in movie theater. Remember all the mounds? So you pulled your car in, it lifted up the front so you'd look up at the screen. Pinball and the old gas tank. Well, join us again soon. We're working already on number six. I hope you had a good time of memory and thinking back and uh, what it was in the good old day. God bless you. And check out our playlist. You'll find a whole lot of other Americana things. Um, 
as well as a lot of Bible things, uh, patriotic videos. Uh, just go and spend some time in it. It's in the playlist. Thank you, and God bless you.